My name is Robert Bradley. I now retired and lived in Ottawa. And uh, I was in the service as an air gunner with the Bomber Command. And we flew Europe, we did 30 operations over there, and then came home and went into civilian life. We were in high school one day, and two, three, two boys, other fellow and myself said, we're going to go down and join the Air Force. I was all of 17 years of age at that time. Everybody wanted to be a pilot at the time. They said, so what do you want to be? I said, I want to be an air gunner. They fell off the chair when they heard that. Why? I don't know. I said, I just want to be an air gunner. So I went through all the tests and uh, passed everything there. And all of a sudden, the young fellow hits, taps me on the shoulder and he said, Bob, you can't go yet. I said, what do you mean? He said, you're six months too early. I said, I looked at him and I said, Bill, he was from my hometown, close your eyes and put me through. He said, no, I can't. So I had to wait six months. And six months later, they shipped me off to Montreal Mining Depot, and that's where I started. Went to Montreal, to Toronto, to Quebec City, to Montjoly, graduated, went home for two weeks, took the boat from Halifax to England, got in Bournemouth, was there a week, went up to OTU for two to training there. Well, three weeks later, headed up to squadron to Bomber Command, and then started trip flying with the Bomber Command. We were in a great big room. There was pilots, navigators, bomb aimers, bag hunters, everybody. And you looked around and said, do I want to fly with him or do I want to fly with him? You got to be compatible. I had an American pilot, an English engineer, an English wireless operator. His real name was Willie Pickup. He was a wireless operator, so it made it, made it interesting. I flew over Europe, uh, France and Germany. We flew over Holland many times. We bombed Eindhoven, and Eindhoven was the biggest U-2, uh, V-2 rocket site. We got the target. He said, but we're not right on. Our pilot said, go around. So we went around, came back again, said, not yet, go around the second time. The reason we went around is that people would know a V-2 rocket site is very small. Dropping those bombs, the, the, the air would move the bombs too. And if we hadn't been more precise, we could have caused a lot of civilian damage. We were after rail lines, we were after uh, factories. The Ruhr Valley was, was a big thing, we were after that. My wife was, was, born, was born in Canada, but her mother and father come from Holland. So we've got a little love for Holland. We left one night and we were flying about a thousand feet high, which is unusual because we were laying mines. Thirteen of us went over, three of us came back. I was just 18 then. I remembered the people in, in Europe, that the thought they had for us as Canadians. And we still have a thought for all the people there because we know a lot of them lost their lives unnecessarily. When I went on an, uh, our trip to Europe, a couple times, I had my logbook with me. We went through a little town and I said, I said, I looked up and I said, 20,000 feet, I was there. People say, what would you do? I said, if I had to do it all over again, I would do it. It's an experience that you'd, you wouldn't want, but you wouldn't miss it. <laughs>